The green economy is defined as an economy that aims at reducing environmental risks and ecological scarcities, and that aims for sustainable development without degrading the environment. It is closely related with ecological economics, but has a more politically applied focus. The 2011 UNEP Green, Economy Report argues, "...that to be green, an economy must not only be efficient, but also fair. Fairness implies recognizing global and country-level equity dimensions, particularly in assuring a just transition to an economy that is low-carbon, resource-efficient, and socially inclusive." A feature distinguishing it from prior economic regimes is the direct valuation of natural capital and ecological services as having economic value see the economics of ecosystems and biodiversity and bank of natural capital and a full cost accounting regime in which costs externalized onto society via ecosystems are reliably traced back to, and accounted for as liabilities of, the entity that does the harm or neglects an asset. Green sticker and ecolabel practices have emerged as consumer facing measurements of friendliness to the environment and sustainable development. Many industries are starting to adopt these standards as a viable way to promote their greening practices in a globalizing economy. <laughs> Green. Economists and economics Green economics is loosely defined as any theory of economics by which an economy is considered to be component of the ecosystem in which it resides after Lynn Margulis. A holistic approach to the subject is typical, such that economic ideas are commingled with any number of other subjects, depending on the particular theorist. Proponents of feminism, postmodernism, the environmental movement, peace movement, green politics, green anarchism and anti-globalization movement have used the term to describe very different ideas, all external to mainstream economics. The use of the term is further ambiguated by the political distinction of green parties which are formally organized and claim the capital G. Green term as a unique and distinguishing mark. It is thus preferable to refer to a loose school of green economists who generally advocate shifts towards a green economy, biomimicry and a fuller accounting for biodiversity. See the economics of ecosystems and biodiversity especially for current authoritative international work towards these goals and bank of natural capital for a layperson's presentation of these. Some economists view green economics as a branch or subfield of more established schools. For instance, it is regarded as classical economics where the traditional land is generalized to natural capital and has some attributes in common with labor and physical capital since natural capital assets like rivers directly substitute for man-made ones such as canals. Or, it is viewed as Marxist economics with nature represented as a form of lumen proletariat, an exploited base of non-human workers providing surplus value to the human economy, or as a branch of neoclassical economics in which the price of life for developing versus developed nations is held steady at a ratio reflecting a balance of power and that of non-human life is very low, an increasing commitment by the UNEP and national governments such as the UK to the ideas of natural capital and full cost accounting under the banner green economy could could blur distinctions between the schools and redefine them all as variations of green economics. As of 2010, the Bretton Woods institutions, notably the World Bank and International Monetary Fund, via its Green Fund initiative, responsible for global monetary policy, have stated a clear intention to move towards biodiversity valuation and a more official and universal biodiversity finance. Taking these into account targeting not less but radically zero emission and waste is what is promoted by the Zero Emissions Research and Initiatives. The UNEP 2011 Green Economy Report informs that, based on existing studies, the annual financing demand to green the global economy was estimated to be in the range $1.05 to $2.59 trillion. To place this demand in perspective, it is about one tenth of total global investment per year, as measured by global gross capital formation. Topic definition Carl Burkhart defines a green economy as based on six main sectors renewable energy, green buildings, sustainable transport, water management, waste management, land management. The International Chamber of Commerce (ICC), representing global business, defines green economy as an economy in which economic growth and environmental responsibility work together in a mutual mutually reinforcing fashion while supporting progress on social development in 2012 the ICC published the green economy roadmap containing contributions from experts from around the globe brought together in a two-year consultation process 
The roadmap represents a comprehensive and multidisciplinary effort to clarify and frame the concept of green economy. It highlights the essential role of business in bringing solutions to common global challenges. It sets out the following ten conditions which relate to business, intra industry, and collaborative action for a transition towards a green economy open and competitive markets metrics, accounting, and reporting finance and investment awareness, life cycle approach, resource efficiency, and decoupling employment, education and skills governance, and partnership, integrated policy and decision making. Topic Ecological measurements Measuring economic output and progress is done through the use of economic index indicators. Green indices emerged from the need to measure human ecological impact, efficiency sectors like transport, energy, buildings and tourism, as well as the investment flows targeted to areas like renewable energy and cleantech innovation. 2010–2016 Global Green, Economy Index published by Consultancy Dual Citizen LLC is in its fifth edition. It measures the green economic performance and perceptions of it in 80 countries and 50 cities along four main dimensions of leadership and climate change, efficiency sectors, markets and investment and the environment. 2009–2012 Green City Index A global study commissioned by Siemens 2009–2013 Circles of Sustainability Project scored five cities in five separate countries. Ecological footprint measurements are a way to gauge anthropogenic impact and are another standard used by municipal governments. Topic green energy issues Green economies require green energy generation based on renewable energy to replace fossil fuels as well as energy conservation and efficient energy use. There is justification for market failure to respond to environmental protection and climate protection needs with the excuse that high external costs and high initial costs for research, development, and marketing of green energy sources and green products prevents firms from voluntarily reducing their ecological footprints. The green economy may need government subsidies as market incentives to motivate firms to invest and produce green products and services. The German Renewable Energy Act, legislations of many other member states of the European Union and the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009, all provide such market incentives. However, other experts argue that green strategies can be highly profitable for corporations that understand the business case for sustainability and can market green products and services beyond the traditional green consumer. Criticisms <coughs> 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 A number of organizations and individuals have criticized aspects of the green economy, particularly the mainstream conceptions of it based on using price mechanisms to protect nature, arguing that this will extend corporate control into new areas from forestry to water. The research organization Etc. Group argues that the corporate emphasis on bio-economy will spur even greater convergence of corporate power and unleash the most massive resource grab in more than 500 years. Venezuelan professor Edgardo Lander says that the UNEP's report, Towards a Green Economy, while well-intentioned, "...ignores the fact that the capacity of existing political systems to establish regulations and restrictions to the free operation of the markets, even when a large majority of the population call for them, is seriously limited by the political and financial power of the corporations." Ulrich Hoffman, in a paper for UNCTAD also says that the focus on green economy and «green growth», in particular, based on an evolutionary and often reductionist approach will not be sufficient to cope with the complexities of climate change, and may rather give much false hope and excuses to do nothing really fundamental that can bring about a U-turn of global greenhouse gas emissions. Clive Spash, an ecological economist, has criticized the use of economic growth to address environmental losses, and argued that the green economy, as advocated by the UN, is not a new approach at all and is actually a diversion from the real drivers of environmental crisis. He has also criticized the UN's Project on the Economics of Ecosystems and Biodiversity and the basis for valuing ecosystems services in monetary terms. See also Topic References Topic Further reading Jeremy Rifkin, twenty thirteen The Third Industrial Revolution seven two hundred thirty three to two hundred forty two 
Brand, Ulrich 2012, Green Economy, The Next Oxymoron? No Lessons Learned from Failures of Implementing Sustainable Development. Gaia 21 28–35. Common, M. and Stegel, S. 2005. Ecological Economics, An Introduction. New York, Cambridge University Press. Daly, H. and Townsend, K. eds. 1993. Valuing the Earth, Economics, Ecology, Ethics. Cambridge, Massachusetts, London, England, MIT Press. Georgescu Rogan, N. 1975. Energy and Economic Myths. Southern Economic Journal 41-347-381. Honnell, R. 2010, Green Economics, Confronting the Ecological Crisis. New York, M. E. Sharp. Horowitz, S. 2010. Amory Lovins, Reinventing Human Enterprise for Sustainability. Down to Business Magazine, http colon slash slash frugalmarketing dot com slash dtb slash amorylovins dot shtml. International Chamber of Commerce, ICC, 2012. ICC Green Economy Roadmap: A Guide for Business, Policymakers, and Society. Kenneth M. and Heinemann V. 2006. Green Economics: Setting the Scene. International Journal of Green Economics, Vol. 1, Issue 1, Half. 2006. Indoscience, Geneva. Kenneth M. 2009. Emerging Pedagogy in an Emerging Discipline: Green Economics in Reardon J. 2009. Pluralist Education, Routledge. Kenneth M. 2008. Introduction to Green Economics in Harvard School Economics Review. Kenneth M. and Kamarudin N. 2012. Green Economics: The Greening of Asia and China. The Green Economics Institute. Kenneth M. and Winston Ka Ming Mok 2012 Green Economics and Climate Change. The Green Economics Institute Kenneth M. and Michelle Gale de Oliveira, and Winchester A. 2012 Green Economics, Women's Unequal Pay and Poverty. The Green Economics Institute Kenneth M. and Winchester A. and Felton J. 2012 Green Economics, Voices of Africa. The Green Economics Institute Kenneth M. and Felton J. 2012. The Green Built Environment: A Handbook. The Green Economics Institute. Kenneth M. and Koyuria E. Pepinite 2011. Handbook of Green Economics. The Green Economics Institute. Kenneth M. 2012. The Green Economics Reader. The Green Economics Institute. Kenneth M. Heinemann V. and Gail de Oliveira M. 2010. Green Economics in Il Libro del Anno. Tricani. Italy. Kenneth M. 2011. Green Economics in Latvian Institute of Science Papers, 2011. Kenneth M. 2009. Green Economics and the Socio-Ecological Transformation in Rosa Luxemburg Foundation Occasional Papers, 71. G. Krause Dietz. Kenneth M. 2010. Kenneth in 200 Visionaries in Mirtha. W. 2010. Red Wheel Publishers. Kenneth M. and Gail de Oliveira 2012, Greening the Academy. Syracuse University. Kenneth M. 2010, Green Economics, in Reardon J., Pluralist Education. Routledge. Kenneth M. and Jacuate K. 2011, Green Economics and the Age of Global Transformation, in Proceedings of the Sixth Annual Oxford University Conference on Green Economics, the Green Economics Institute. Ed. K. Jochuda, 2011. King, Andrew, Lennox, Michael, 2002. Does it really pay to be green? Journal of Industrial Ecology 5, 105 to 117. Krishnan R, Harris J M, Goodwin N R, 1995. A Survey of Ecological Economics. Island Press. ISBN 1-55963-411-1. ISBN 978-1-55963-411-3. Martinez Allier, J. 1990, Ecological Economics, Energy, Environment and Society. Oxford, England, Basil Blackwell. Martinez Allier, J. Ropke, IEDS, 2008, Recent Developments in Ecological Economics, 2 vols, E. Elgar, Cheltenham, UK. Ropke, I. 2004, the Early History of Modern Ecological Economics. Ecological Economics 50 3 to 4 293 to 314 
Rope Key, I 2005 Trends in the Development of Ecological Economics from the Late 1980s to the Early 2000s. Ecological Economics 55 262–290. 2, Reinhardt, F. 1999 Market Failure and the Environmental Policies of Firms, Economic Rationales for Beyond Compliance Behavior, Journal of Industrial Ecology 3 1, 9–21 Scott Cato, Molly 2009. Green Economics, An Introduction to Theory, Policy and Practice. EarthScan. ISBN 1844075710. Retrieved 1 July 2014. Shmelev S., ed. 2017 Green Economy Reader. Lectures in Ecological Economics and Sustainability. Springer, 463 pp. https slash gb book 9783319389172 Shmelev S. Ecological Economics, Sustainability in Practice. Springer, 248 pp. https://www.springer.com/.gb/.book/.9789400071971-2. Shmelev S. Shmeleva I. A. E. D. S. 2012. Sustainability Analysis: An Interdisciplinary Approach. Palgrave, 335 pp. https slash gb book 9780230355248 Spash, CL 1999 The Development of Environmental Thinking in Economics. Environmental Values 8 4, 413–435. VATN, A. 2005, Institutions and the Environment. Cheltenham, Edward Elgar United Nations Division for Sustainable Development 2012, A Guidebook to the Green Economy. United Nations Environment Programme 2010, Green Economy Report, a preview. Http colon slash slash ww dot unip dot org slash green economy slash link click dot aspx question mark file ticket equals jvdft jofexa percent three D and tabid equals one three five O and language equals N dash us United Nations Environment Program twenty ten Developing Countries Success Stories Http colon slash slash web archive dot lock dot gov slash all slash two O one four O eight two two O O three seven two O slash http colon slash slash www.unip.org slash pdf slash green economy underscore success stories. pdf United Nations Environment Program 2010, a brief for policymakers on the green economy and millennium development goals. Http colon slash slash www.unip.org slash green economy slash portals slash thirty slash docs slash policymakers underscore brief underscore gay and mdg. pdf United Nations Environment Program 2010 Driving a Green Economy Through Public Finance and Fiscal Policy Reform Http colon slash slash www.unip.org slash green economy slash portals slash thirty slash docs slash driving green economy PDF United Nations Environment Program 2009 Global Green New Deal Update HTTP colon slash slash www.unip.org slash green economy slash link click dot ASPX question mark file ticket equals C9R D7 XHWC percent 3D and tabid equals 1394 and language equals N dash us United Nations Environment Program 2009 Global Green New Deal Policy Brief HTTP p colon slash slash web archive dot lock dot gov slash all slash two o one o o nine two five o nine four seven three two slash http percent three a slash slash ww dot unip dot org slash pdf slash a underscore global underscore green underscore new underscore deal underscore policy underscore brief dot pdf United Nations Environment Program two thousand eight green jobs towards decent work in a sustainable low carbon world 
policy messages and main findings for decision makers. http wwwuniporg green economy slash linklick. ASPX question mark file ticket equals HR sixty two CK seven RTX four percent three D and tabid equals one three seven seven and language equals N dash us United Nations Environment Program two thousand eight Global Green New Deal Environmentally focused investment historic opportunity for 21st century prosperity and job generation. London, Nairobi, October 22. Vinge, Victor Condorcet, 2017. Economics as if soil and health matters. Wagner, Ma, 2003. Does it pay to be eco-efficient in the European energy supply industry? Zeitschrift für Energiewirtschaft 27, 4, 309 to 318. Wagner, M. et al., 2002 The relationship between environmental and economic performance of firms, what does the theory propose and what does the empirical evidence tell us? Greener Management International 34, 95–108 Topic external links Green Growth Knowledge Platform ICC Green Economy Roadmap The Green Economy Coalition The Green Economist UNIP, The Green Economy Initiative The 2012 Earth Summit The Green Economics Institute The Green, Economics Institute Global Campaigning Forum The International Society for Ecological Economics ISEE, Green Recovery The International Journal of Green Economics Eco Economy Indicators Earth Trends World Resources Institute The Inspired Economist Ecological Ecological Economics Encyclopedia The Academic Journal, Ecological Economics The U.S. Society of Ecological Economics The Bayer International Institute for Ecological Economics Green Economist Website Sustainable Prosperity The Gund Institute of Ecological Economics Ecological Economics at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute An Ecological Economics article about reconciling economics and its supporting ecosystem Economics in a Full World, by Herman E. Daily NOAA Economics of Ecosystems Data and Products